All right. I guess I'll probably also... Uh, actually, I'll probably hop over into the group labbing chat, so if anyone wants to uh, VOD review with me, feel free to hop over. Otherwise, I will just be flip-flopping channels a bunch. <laughs> oh, hey, I can't how to fight Leo 101. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna take a bit of practice for sure, but trying to do match into VOD review into match. So... Let's see, the things I've been working on have been punishing this move, actually. Uh, 2D on block, oof. Um, and uh, 236S, like just being more ready for those. I know what the punishes are now um, at different ranges, but I don't always actually get, like I don't have the reactions consistent yet, and I would really like to. Otherwise, I still feel like I'm just kind of swinging wildly in neutral, and I need to figure out, like, why I'm pressing things where and how it can be better. That situation also comes up quite a bit. Um... Draw notes. Post safe jump situation. We'll see if that actually holds true. That's even just... All right, yeah. So I'm getting a lot of uh, far slash after that situation. Right, I don't know how good of a job I did in this game. Um, I definitely was trying to do... Uh, here, in a sec, the... This into backdash way less, because that is definitely a habit. And Diamond Me was definitely aware of that. Hmm. Not here. At this point, pulling up like makes sense but i sh i think i'm pulling up on autopilot um and not really watching for the fact that he's standing still which means that there's a decent chance he has fireball charged right. so bursted What my opponent is looking for. Pulling up. Execution issue. Dropped. Route that would have killed. Yeah, that one I think is just I'm not familiar with the character yet. I am. What frame does Geo's uh, 63S hit on? Because I am doing PRC into that very reliably. Uh, and I don't know if that's actually... It's good reward-wise for sure. I don't know if it's like actually good. Okay, I'm going to go watch this back again. Oh, way too far. Okay. So good recognition by me here to be like, I have the life lead i don't need to overcommit. i want to just bail the fuck out i've got you know a whole stage behind me so just walking back didn't want to be in range of leo buttons and i i think that that was a good 2d so yeah i, I think i'm happy with how that like with my decision making there what did i try and do here dlc let you skip in smaller uh chunks challenge impossible Oh, dash 2k, all right. Yeah, because I've been backing off a lot, especially in some of the matches before we did this. That is a consistent execution issue I have. Corner throw. Was that 
I think that was wrong, actually. Yeah, so this is only minus five, which is actually a massive pain in the ass for a lot of characters. Um, but it, like, makes up for it by not being special cancelable, so it's okay. Uh, this move is frame six, so that means I hit him out of trying to do something that was not flash kick, which is what he does, like, half the time. So, uh... Need to recognize 2p there, not 2k. Still, I did do the good uh, single hit confirm into it. I... That's a sign of sloppy inputs for sure. Um... Hmm. Backed off. Was definitely not ready for this air movement. And yeah, so I put in the... Okay, uh, definitely out of range, but I am happy that I at least saw the situation and pressed 2k. Oh, uh, I remember this. I second-guessed myself here. Because um, I wanted to... I'm, like, holding FD here. And in my head, I'm like, oh, I should reversal. And then I'm like, ah, yes, throw will work. <laughs> This could have absolutely cost me this round. I'm not sure if it did. Hmm. Is this something I could have seen uh, during the BRC? No, okay, he did it afterwards. I wasn't sure if that was just like a visual confirmation issue. Ordered myself there. Yeah, yeah, I know that one too. Bro, RC timing. <laughs> okay. That one, I do remember the second throw being like a calculated, he has 50 meter, I'm just going to risk it. Because if this hits, then I win. And even if he gets, um, like if he does the 50 meter one... There we go. Okay, but anyways, even if he does uh, the 50 meter reversal, then I'm not dead. But if he goes for DPRC, then it throws him on startup. Uh, I was definitely risking dying to a, well, I don't know, full combo throw punish might have killed. It would have at least gotten me close. If I remember right, that pops up a couple times. I need to be way more respectful. Okay, so there's the safe jump interaction again. Yeah, I, I press after this quite a bit. Or mashing after back turn heavy. Slammed out of there. And yeah, safe jump gets backdash there, and I like, I don't have an option that I'm picking regularly there. Uh, either to counter the backdash or just in general. I don't know, I'll need to look into that situation more. I'm actually surprised he didn't go for the wall break super there, but it worked out. He did it here where he had 100 meter, so worked out better for him probably. Hey, I did the thing. I, okay, yeah. I'm still surprised that that carried all the way to the wall. <laughs> okay, let me rewatch that neutral. But... And okay, yeah, that was actually safe jump timing. Cool. Backs off. Starts pulling up, so I back off again. I. I 
to remember, I take like a lot of- Oh, right, okay, I got really focused on the idea that I have almost 50 meter, so I'm gonna do fake movement to try and, uh, because he's throwing fireballs, to try and jump over it and super. But I like, I didn't get enough. I actually, the jump right before the air dash was me being like, can I super? And then I visually checked and went, no, no, I can't. Damn. And so I hit air dash. Which gave me the meter. But yeah, he was already ready for it. I could have blocked this though. I just, I was not ready for it. Not a bad plan, I don't think, but definitely, like, tunnel visioned too hard. I need to be careful about bursting there, too. Diamond Muse not, like, blowing me up for it regularly at the moment, but it's definitely happening consistently. I need to remember to basically just burst uh, Turbulence. Right. Okay, so this is, like... I tried to press 6p. Really, it was actually that from the start. I'm surprised. I'm gonna try and watch my inputs. I'm walking back. Yeah, I pressed 6p here. Like, the frame before this, I pressed 6p. And then tried to buffer the 2 on 4k. Okay, but the PRC slowed it down. I get it, I get it. I thought that this coming out is, uh... The kick was very strange at the time, but that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that picked up. Okay. I'm surprised, but I guess my hands know better than I do. Right, okay, this is actually something I did well here, which was get a bunch of big damage and go, all right, I have positive bonus, I have double the health. I am playing defensively and counterpoking. I did kind of walk myself into the corner a decent bit here. Ah, no confirm. Yeah, if I had uh, if I had remembered to do the hit stop OS, which I should just be doing every time, then that would have worked out. But okay, there was something in here though. I'm doing a lot of just like back off into 2D instead of normal anti airing. Like, I very rarely use her 6P. I should uh, try and focus on doing that more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just a hard call out only burst point. Okay. I think that most of what I need to work on here is, like, execution and recognition stuff, for sure. And tearing as well, definitely. Okay. Okay. 